There's time for a few questions if anybody's got any burning issues. Ole. Yeah, you say it takes some time because it's very slow thing with high Q, right? So what kind of time is that? Is it like one day per image? Is it like one no, day it's, 20, it's about 20 minutes per image. 20 minutes. So, you know, but if you compare it to, for example, um, uh, Mervyn Miles is 1,000 frames per second in Bristol, then it's, <laughs> it's obviously that's a completely different technique and that won't work in ultra high vacuum because they have to use the water layer to um, get that you get in there. But um, it's tedious, um, but it's not that tedious. Yeah. So people say that effectively now this FM is effectively high resolution than STM, right? Like real yes, raw stuff and everything, is, putting this kind of CO stuff and yes, that. Yeah. Have you tried this somewhere? Really? The C60 is pretty big. No, but, we're, but importantly, we're getting atomic resolution on the C60 cage. We're getting atomic resolution, which you don't see atomic resolution in the STM image, because you're obviously probing the molecular orbital, and the molecular orbital is delocalized to some extent across the molecule, or at least across the, 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 the hexagonal and the pentagonal faces. So we can take that image where you just see two lobes, basically, or, or basically it's a trimer structure that's hexagon down, it's two lobes of it's pentagon down, and you don't see the atoms, but you flip to AFM. Thank you for that question. <laughs> Is that a plan? No, it, it, it wasn't, but I'll, I'll, it'll be the envelope of five was unusual. Um, thank you for that, because I can deal with that directly. Right, so here, here's, here's the slide. So here's the AFM. Well, you can see the atoms, okay, we haven't pushed in quite as much here, but you can see the individual atoms or the lobes during the interaction between. Here we go to SPM, you can just about see, and this is high pass filter actually, slightly high pass filter, you can just about see the lobe in the middle, and you could, if you were um, so inclined, you could say, well, okay, maybe there's some pentagonal symmetry, but the pentagonal symmetry, the five-fold symmetry is absolutely clear. There's no shadow of a doubt that you get better resolution with AFM than STM. And you don't, it's also, the, the, the question about CO is very important as well. There seems to be this argument that you need a very, very small molecule. You don't, it's a question of how you break the bonds and the molecules on the end of the table. It doesn't. Yeah, I think CO is not a small molecule, it's a very big difference with a kind of very localized. Yeah, but the interesting thing with the CO, so if we're going to stay on that, because it's that one of like the IBM paper, I didn't have time to discuss this, where they obviously look at pentacene in great detail. The argument they make there is that it's only possible to get that level of resolution if you're in the pile of propulsion um, component. That's not true. That's simply not true because we get this atomic resolution where it's weakly attractive. There's a strong attractive interaction. That molecule is pretty reactive. So it very much depends on the system. Stuart, how do you make the tips so sure? So, um, as, as I discussed, we plunge them into the surface, um, hold our noses and hope for the best. So, we, we initially, electro, initially they're electrochemically etched. The, so, the piece of metal. The piece of metal goes down to raise the curvature. Uh, the best is probably that we've done, others are probably beyond this, but the best that we've done is probably 40 nanometers radius of curvature. Yeah. That's solely electrochemical etching. And you have to do important things like set up your circuit so that you look for that sharp drop in the current when you're etching down so you don't blunt it. Um, but even then, you can take a tip that's got a 40 nanometer radius of curvature and you can introduce it. And sometimes it will give you atomic resolution from the off. Rarely. Most of the time, you then have to apply voltage pulses and you have to coerce it while you're scanning. Um, to get that atomic resolution. Because what's very important is having a little asperity at the end, which has got one atom sticking out that's just that little bit more than the rest. Right. And double good. tips are a real problem, where you have an asperity here and another asperity over here, and they both contribute.